Hello everyone, Susan here with Life Stories and uh, we've been talking about grief and we're going to continue that discussion a little bit and we were in James last week and we were from James 1 verse 2 says, Consider it all joy, my brother, whenever you encounter various trials, knowing that the testing of faith produces endurance. Let that endurance have its perfect result so that you may be perfect, complete, lacking nothing. It continues on. But if any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask God, who gives to all generously and without reproach, and it will be given to him. But if, but he must ask in faith without any doubting, for the one who doubts is like the surf of the sea, driven and tossed by the wind. When my mom was um, diagnosed with, with cancer and we were seeking chemo treatments. I was blessed to have the opportunity, like I had shared, I had left my job to take care of my mom and felt that that's where God had called me to be. We went through trials of many kinds. Um, the first day of my mom's chemo treatment, um, it was discovered that her lung had collapsed as a result of they had nicked it when they were putting in her portal for her cancer treatments. So we ended up in the ER on day one. Um, if you know anything about me, you know that medical stuff is not my thing, not my thing at all. And being in that, in the emergency room, knowing that your mom is having difficulty breathing was a very difficult experience for me. But, you know, in James, it talks about, you know, the trials and it says, if any of you lack wisdom, I was crying out for wisdom, strength, courage, any of those things during that time knowing what was going on in the other room with my mom is you know that situation worked out well but as, as chemos continued I watched my mom deteriorate you know as you're pouring toxins into your body to fight cancer it wears your body down my mom would be sick from day one of the treatments to about a week and a half later when she had to go back for another treatment it was when she would finally start to feel well and so it was a very difficult trial. But throughout that trial, I continued to encourage my mom and say, God has a plan. So this is a person who wasn't somewhat of strong faith, but she had the basic knowledge. And just saying that, you know, God has a plan, she would just kind of like, okay, okay. And we just continued on through the difficulties. Um, her heart medication was reacting to the chemo treatments so we end up in the ER a second time it just continued like this for I would say about six months worth of treatments that it was just up and down up and down this trial this ER visit this this appointment this that and the other thing but each day I mean each day I cried out to God for strength for courage, for wisdom, to know how to handle these difficult situations. And he always answered the call. So I just, I really encourage you in two things. One, go to God. He'll give you that strength, that courage, that wisdom during difficult times. And for me as a daughter who was able to be with my mom, if you've got someone going through some difficult health things, be there for them as an advocate. Because there were so many times that my mom was struggling with her own illness, that trying to remember the difficulties, try, not the difficulties, but trying to remember the importance of the next appointment or what she needed to do was, was overwhelming for her. So that's just my little piece of advice on the side, but we'll just continue on with a story where God takes this life story and turns it into a love story.